He said, if you elect not to get the surgery, he said, within a month, you will likely be walking, driving, whatever, and like that, you're gonna keel over dead. My name is Patrick Quigley. I retired from the Navy. I was in Naval Aviation for 23 years. It was right after Katrina, and I'd been rear-ended by a car, and I had ruptured discs. I didn't want to sit and have a tear in my beer, so to speak, and I, I had airplanes, and I could still fly, so I decided that I would uh, try my hand at aerial photography. Yeah, it was working out well, and having a great time. Well, he was my patient for quite a while, and uh, he's a pilot. Because of that, he has to get uh, routine stress tests and cardiac evaluations to renew his pilot license. But since my cholesterol was good, I thought, well, what do I have to worry about? And I was riding my bicycle. I, I would swim a mile three times a week, and I thought I was good to go. He gave me my angiogram, and then he came in with Dr. Bro, and Dr. Bro explained to me, it's a sad fact about coronary artery disease that most people find out they have it by dying from it. When patients suffer from coronary artery disease, the atherosclerosis can affect all the coronary arteries in different ways. There's one particular coronary artery, the LAD, which stands for left anterior descending, and it supplies 40% of the blood flow to the heart. Because if that blood vessel suddenly becomes 100% blocked, most people will die. Otherwise known as the Widowmaker. My whole world was turned upside down. I wasn't ready to just up and drop dead. And I felt blessed that I had this opportunity. And the last thing I remember is seeing a bunch of people in the masks. I was on the gurney and they wheeled me in. And then next thing you know, lights out, boom. You know, they split my chest open and they did quadruple bypass surgery. Then I woke up in the recovery room with this tube breathing tube coming out my throat. I felt, I felt relieved. I'm alive. I had the very best Thanksgiving, okay? Because every day I look at my surroundings and I'm happy to be here. I just was not ready, it was not my time. I thank Dr. Morales, I thank Dr. Bro. This was, this was A+. Plus. I would recommend it in a heartbeat to anybody. I joke with my pilot friends and I say I'm a born-again pilot. <laughs> Life is great, you know.